and two buildings on fire and two people confirmed dead. Let's get to Bradley Warren. He's there at the scene. Hey, Kalai. Okay, so I want to show you the building that we're currently looking at right now. If you're not near your screen, come here and take a look. So right now, this is the second complex involved in this fire. So this is the building that it spread to, and it's still currently burning this morning. And I've been speaking to people who live in this complex, and they tell us they had just moments to get out and that they were shocked by how quickly this fire spread to this complex. Now, I, I want to play a soundbite for you, and I want you to listen to what Brandy just told me. She's pretty freaked out right now because her dog is missing. Uh, my biggest concern is that uh, when we were woken up to show or to get out of the apartment, I had to throw my dog out the door and he's lost now. And then I talked to the firefighters and they said our cats got out, but we have no idea where they are. And just a lot of people's pets are gone. So we're really worried about that. So the story right now is that people had to let their dogs run free so that they could escape. And there's concern that they're running loose here in Brown's edition this morning. So if you see a pet or a cat that looks lost right now, please turn it over to Scraps because there are a lot of people who are missing their animals this morning and want them safely returned. We continue to track this breaking news here in Brown's edition. We're on second, uh, just down the road from the Patsy Clark Mansion. This is the second complex in a two complex fire burning this morning. And we know right now both buildings are a total loss. We're going to continue to track this situation and more information is available. We're going to bring it to you right here on KHQ and on KHQ.com. But for now, reporting live in Brown's edition, I'm Bradley Warren, KHQ Local News. Well, you feel for all of those people who have been displaced this yeah, And The sun has come up now and we can see the damage. I want to walk you through the scene right now. So take a look at your screen and take a look at what we can see. So this is the complex where the fire started. This is the Tiffany complex. It then spread to the building next door. And you can see right here the siding that has melted off the side most of the building itself is charred, one car completely destroyed. It then spread next door to a seven unit complex. And I just want you to take a look at this. So it didn't spread to the third building, but you can see the melted siding. That is how hot this fire was. It was so hot that people from the Westminster across the street could feel the flames and they could feel and hear what was going on. One resident told me they heard an explosion. We do know right now Avista does have the power off in the area. But one person, Nick, he lives in the complex next door, the second building that was affected. He said they only had minutes to get out. I want you to take a listen to what he did as those flames hit his building. Uh, sleeping on the sofa, window open because it's so hot with the fan going. I live in the base or the downstairs of this building. Smelled smoke, ran through our house, you know, hit all the doors, make sure everybody got out. Just want to make sure that everybody got out safe, man. So I was just speaking with Brian Schaefer, and he tells me both of these complexes are a complete and total loss right now. And I was actually just talking to the Red Cross, and I, I think this is really important perspective right now. So we have so many fires, wildfires burning across the region. This wild uh, or this Red Cross volunteer told me they are spread so thin. There's only two people here to start the servicing of helping to find these people who lost their homes, new places to stay this morning. That's how spread the Red Cross is this morning. They only had two people that could respond to that this morning here to help people find a place to stay. But again, this complex, a total loss this morning. Two people have died and one firefighter taken to the hospital. Reporting live in Brown's edition, I'm Bradley Warren, KHQ Local News. Yeah, Clyde, well, I was just speaking with Spokane Fire Chief Brian Schaefer, and he tells me Major Crimes is currently on scene investigating not only those two individuals, but the fire itself and how it started. I want to bring you inside the scene right now, and this is where firefighters are currently focusing uh, the, the bulk of their water. So the flame started in the Tiffany complex uh, next door, and wind blew it into this building right here. We know that the complex next door was 11 units. This one is seven units. Both are a total loss. This is according to Brian Schaefer. He literally just told me there's still a lot of flames that they're dealing with right now. This is a very active situation here in downtown Spokane. In total, we know there are 18 trucks here, over 60 firefighters working to battle this blaze right now. And I've been talking to people on the streets and they tell me they're just in shock by how quickly this apartment complex and the neighboring one went up into flames. Dozens of people right now without homes. Red Cross currently is facilitating places for them to stay. And we are working to get some information on how you at home can donate. We've been receiving Facebook messages asking how you can help. We're working to get that information. But right now, Brian Schaefer says for the people, the victims of these two fires, the place to go is the Red Cross. Reporting live in Brown's edition, I'm Bradley Warren, KHQ Local News.
Bradley, a couple of questions for you. One, when they bring out major crimes, yeah, is quite. that routine or is that this specific to this incident? And two, you've talked to people who are displaced. What is their plan? Are they going to those shelters or are they finding elsewhere to go? Yeah, well, Kalai, on the notion of major crimes, uh, Brian Schaefer told me this was so active that they just threw as many resources on this as possible. I'm looking at the chief right now. He's still working. I mean, as I'm sure you can imagine, this is a busy scene. I'm going to ask him your question. I'll have that update for you in the next half hour. Um, as for the people who are displaced, I was just talking to one person who told me uh, that she called her mom and her mom's coming to pick her up. Um, multiple people are just here watching mm -hmm. their houses burn. This is where they are from, this is where they live, and they don't have a backup plan. So uh, right now, the people that I'm talking with are telling me uh, their plan is to see what happens, to see what's salvageable, and then uh, move on and find a new place to live. We know, Kalai, we have been talking about this throughout the course of the morning. A lot of people are missing their pets. Mm -hmm. Their pets went running out the door and are on the loose right now in Brown's edition. And a lot of people tell me right now that's their main focus. I mean, yes, with you know for all intents and purposes people are homeless right now but they are concerned about finding their pets so if you see a pet on the loose in the browns edition area this morning and it looks lost it probably is and it probably came from one of these complexes and there are people who would really like to have them back so you're asked this morning to turn those pets over to scraps Okay, Bradley, thank you so much for that information, and um, we'll continue. Well, I want to talk to you right now about why major crimes is here. You asked me that in the last half hour, and I got that question answered by Fire Chief Ryan Schaefer. He tells me whenever somebody dies in a fire like this, major crimes is on scene because they have to conduct an investigation. I want to take you inside the scene right now behind the crime tape and show you what we can see. So you hear Kalai talking about that smoke. It is everywhere. It's like a brick wall right now. That's how much smoke has been hitting us throughout the course of the morning but let's start with the first complex so this is a two complex so what we're looking at right here is the tiffany complex this is where two people passed away this morning now this fire grew in size and because of the winds that we had early this morning and are still feeling the flames spread to the building next door. So you see right there, fire officials still focusing the brunt of their investigation and water on putting the flames out at this building because we still do have smoke coming from it. Now I was speaking with the fire chief and he tells me right now, both of these buildings are a total loss and dozens of people are without a home this morning. In total, 18 trucks are here right now, over 60 firefighters. This is a three alarm fire that is going to be uh, closing down traffic in the Browns Edition area throughout the course of the day while officials conduct their investigation. Red Cross is currently on scene trying to help those who are displaced. When we get information about how you can help the victims, we're gonna post it on KHQ.com. But for now, reporting live in Browns Edition, I'm Bradley Warren. KHQ Local News. We can see firefighters are still attacking this building right now, the second building involved in this two complex fire this morning. It started here at the Tiffany complex and then moved over to where you see firefighters spraying water. We do know right now that the Red Cross is here on scene this morning trying to help people who were displaced. All of the people who lived in these complexes, this one right here, the Tiffany complex, 11 units, the neighboring one, seven units are displaced and they are being deemed a total loss this morning. We've got some more information coming in right now from KHQ.com about how you can help. The big thing right now that people are stressing, animals are on the loose this morning. They ran from the complex. If you see a dog or a cat in the Browns Edition area that looks like it's lost, please pick it up and return it to scraps. Reporting live. In Brown's edition, I'm Bradley Warren, KHQ Local News.